Hey folks, welcome back. So today we're doing a very short uh, travel trip video. I finally managed to get myself and my motorbike to go to Heigerloch in southwestern Germany. This is the village from above, really pretty village. But the main reason I wanted to go there is the Atomkeller Museum Heigerloch, which you will see now. Um, this was actually the end of the German nuclear program in World War II. This was the last location after um, Berlin got bombed quite heavily, they moved all their stuff to Heigerloch to continue their research. And here you see the experimental German uh, uranium reactor. Down there is uh, the neutron reflector. This is actually graphite, or originally it would be. I think they changed it probably. The cubes are uranium cubes, also not original anymore. These two are originals, and um, we'll do some measuring uh, later. Very cool museum, museum, very small, but I really enjoyed it there. Uh, it's really worth a, a visit. This thing would be the lid of the reactor, uh, where they could insert, like, I think, neutron measuring devices and also the neutron source. Um, these are the heavy water tanks. I think they had one and a half tons of heavy water, one and a half tons of uranium there originally, back in 45. And it's kind of small actually, so yeah, let's do some measuring stuff since we're here. They have a lot, a lot of um, nice small items in their exposition. This is like everyday or, you know, radioactive stuff that you could find. There's some minerals, there's uranium glass. There is also, I think, some radium painted watches as examples. Um, really neat museum. A lot of small, cool stuff to explore too. Especially if you have a Geiger counter. So here I'm trying the atom fast dosimeter, the scintillator detector on the original cubes. They're not really that radioactive. Well, I mean, the plexiglass helps too, but um, in general. The background levels inside the museum are really low. I guess they cleaned up the place really well. Also here, this is like in my hotel room was higher. This is nothing like. Um, what else? Uh, these are original graphite blocks from the neutron reflector. I have. They're like slightly above background. Maybe they have some tiny bit of contamination left. Also, not really much. This is like the second set of um, examples of minerals. A lot of these uranium minerals are actually also from from the area, like the Black Forest area where Heigerloch is located, has quite a lot of natural uranium actually. Mm, yeah, that's the end of it. The, ah, this is interesting too. This is a recreation of Otto Hahn's experimenting table. He kind of discovered fission. And the thing down there was the battery of the Geiger counter, like because high voltage and stuff. So they really got smaller since um, <laughs> 45 or so. Then they have some models of um, more modern, like 50s technology, I guess, uh, reactors. Just like kind of, yeah, to see how they work. And there's a lot of um, written documentation on the walls. It's all in German though, that's just a small warning, but it's very interesting. You can find a lot of stuff on, on the internet also, of course, about uh, this whole project. So here I'm getting out the classical Geiger counter with the SPT-11A um, pancake Soviet probe. It's not that extremely high, but I mean, since I'm there, I wanted to measure a little bit. Also, I want to suggest you a much better video about this place by Bioneer23. I'll put the link in the description, more historic background. This is the Alsos mission or like a diorama recreation of the when the Americans arrived at the place. Yeah, you can learn more what happened there in Bioneer's video. It's it's very good. I would like I went to this place because of that video. I didn't really know about it before. So, uh, I really suggest you watch that video. Link in the uh, description, of course. So it's time to go back home again and um, see you soon for uh, another adventure. <laughs> Bye!